Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use interactive Python. So similar to how we were using Python when we first started the series, but now inside of Visual Studio Code. So you can keep everything in one spot. Now, if you've been following along, you may have noticed I switched my theme. Maybe I'm just a bit indecisive. I don't know. I'll probably just switch themes throughout this whole course just to try new things, you know, keep things wild. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to code and preferences and then color theme. I wanted to mention to you guys that you can scroll down here and click install additional color themes. And look, there is a color theme for every style and every taste. No matter what you're into, there should probably be a theme to match that. So check it out. And yeah, now let's talk about how to start the interactive mode inside of Python. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python in data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there! So, if you go down to this little gear here and click that, there's this button Command Palette. Or what you can do is Command Shift P, or I'm assuming on Windows Control Shift P. So, when you do that, you open up this command palette, which allows you to do different things. One of which is this Python start REPL. And REPL stands for read, eval, print, loop, which is essentially what the Python interactive mode is. It reads what you're typing, it evaluates it, and it prints it back out to you. And it just does that in a loop forever. So don't be frightened by the weird acronym. It's just an interactive mode and it'll pop up down here. And we can say things like five plus five and get a result of 10. So there we go, we got all of the things we need for Python, but all inside of Visual Studio Code. But here is my problem. This is a red flag warning for you guys, so pay attention. This has caused me some headache because sometimes when I'm typing, I'm just you know enjoying myself, typing my codes. Well, I'll press a certain shortcut key accidentally and it will open up this interactive mode. And I think that shortcut key is shift enter. So if I hit shift enter, you can see it starts doing stuff inside the interactive mode. It basically copies our code here and then gives us the output. And although that's fine and dandy, when this interactive mode is open and I hit run, look, it says invalid syntax. And I don't know why it does this. I can't figure out how to fix it. So I don't know if it's a bug with Visual Studio Code or if I'm just stupid or maybe just a little bit of both. However, when the interactive mode is on, the, the read eval print loop is active, I cannot run my code using this green play button here. So here's the solution. There's two solutions I got for you. The first is to right click and kill terminal. And there you go. It'll bring back the old terminal or if it closes out of everything, you can just hit the play and it'll pop up and again and you should be good to go. The other way to do it is if you go back into the interactive mode, so I think, you know, shift enter and this interactive mode pops open and you want to close out of it, you can type in exit like so. With parentheses, enter. And that'll close out of it and go back to the normal terminal where we can run our program and be happy again like we used to be. So then it's gonna put our output here. So if someone has a fix for that, leave it in the comment section below. That way we don't have to worry about switching back and forth and we can just keep one window open. But until then, We'll, we just might need to remember how to close out of that interactive window and if all else fails just close out of the terminal run the code and it will go back to how it was now there is one other form of interactive mode that i wanted to bring up to you guys and you will find that if you go to this command palette you might see something like mm, show python interactive window and when you hit this it's going to say starting jupyter server and it crashes because I don't have the Jupyter stuff installed. However, it may suggest that you install it and you can do that. And what this does is it's basically a system of putting some input and getting some output. So it's it's like the, the read eval print loop, except maybe a little bit more substantial. So if you wanna see an example of a Jupyter notebook, it'll look something like this, where you can put a comment, you put some input code, and then you get some outputs here and then you can have numerous inputs 
for some reason I have like 20 empty ones. I don't know why it's like that. Also, don't judge my code. I wrote this like two years ago. And also I was coming from like a Java background. So some of my while loops and stuff are written incorrectly. I mean, it still works, but it's just, it's not really written properly Python wise. So don't judge my code here. I just wanted to show you guys that. And this is a possibility if you are interested in having some blend of interactive mode and also having some more structured code, then the Jupyter Notebook stuff might be for you. It's very popular for data visualization and data science, and that might be your route. But until then, until we get to that future point, we are going to be working here inside of the terminal. So that's all I wanted to explain in this video is just how to get the interactive window open, the REPL, and how to X out of it and get back to the terminal. So in the next video, we're going to get back into coding. So stay tuned and subscribe. Yeah, that, that's what you should do. Subscribe.